in price. Okay, so band A is the cheapest, band B is medium, and band C is the most expensive. Uh, band A, this is what most of our Japanese partners choose the band A, because it's mainly um, it focuses on topics and language. So it's, it's not like a language school. They don't, we don't teach grammar, we don't teach vocabulary, you know, that kind of thing. We look at topics and then the students learn the language while they're studying the topics. And every university is slightly different. For example, our Ayamagakuin, they were interested in literature, uh, linguistics and so on. So that they might study Shakespeare, drama, creative writing, um, history of London, history of Stratford. And as they're doing these topics, then of course their language gets better. And all these programs, the students study 20 hours. Okay, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, they have three hours in the morning and two hours in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. okay, so that's a total of 20 hours. And then Friday, we have a study tour. All right, so all these are the same. And on Fridays, they have a study tour. Now, let's take a look at, um, for example, Toyo University. They said to us, please, can we have business skills program? Mm -hmm. So they come for three weeks, and say they have business topics, for example, networking, <coughs> we have um, case studies, we do how to describe, you know, things like teach the students how to describe a company's performance, that kind of, you know, like they have an IELTS exam they have to learn how to do. So we give them business English help, uh, but also the lots of discussion, so they do things like uh, business ethics, um, they do local companies. Um, we can take them on a tour of a mini factory in Oxford. So you know that all the mini cars are yeah. made at Oxford, mm -hmm. a very big factory. We can organise a tour for them. Um, so that's an example of um, an A course. There's topics, so it could be business topics or culture topics. In the past, we had a Wakayama University, they had tourism mm -hmm. topics, and um, we've also had... Wasada is more general, they're, they're interested in many different topics, um, and, uh, and also Kwansai Gakuin. So these programs are two or three or four weeks. Actually, I think four weeks is a little bit too long. Mm -hmm. I think it's the students get very tired. <laughs> and actually now we only have a Kansai Gakuin, they, they always want four weeks. Mm -hmm. Wasta take three weeks, Toyo I think take three weeks, Kobe University for example takes two weeks. Mm -hmm. But most of our Japanese partners, they have a course A because there's a big focus on improving the student's language. Mm -hmm. Course B and C tend to be more students whose English is already very good. So this one, for example, course C, it's lecture based. So it's all lectures, or nearly all lectures. And the language level is quite high. So most of the universities who choose course C are from Hong Kong, because their English is already nearly native speaker level. And lecture-based, again, they have 20 hours, um, and we have five Hong Kong partners, not business, not business study universities. They all study uh, humanities. Humanities. What humanities in general? What humanities? Okay, so humanities, they study, for example, of course, uh, literature, they study art, uh, anthropology, uh, sometimes they study uh, philosophy, uh, for example, uh, what else? They, in the past we've had law, uh, what else? Yeah, history. Oh. Mm. etc. So every university is different and also education studies sometimes. Uh, we have one university from Hong Kong and all their students um, mm. study educational policy, social policy and so on. So these ones are mainly for Hong Kong universities. Now for the course B program which is in the middle, these are usually So it's the business lectures and skills, and these ones are usually for universities from China. So again, the students' level is very high. We have um, students from Shanghai, very you know, very high level of English. 
So if we give them a, diff a difficult lecture subject, for example, game theory or micro versus macroeconomics, management styles, leadership, manage manage management versus leadership, and so on, then... Um, so this one is not so many language classes, mm. because the students already have a good command, mm. right? So this is why, this one is, uh, they're all 20, 20 hours per week, and all the programs include some, for example, the first day they have a welcome tea, last day we have a dinner, where we give the students certificates, they all have the study tours, the only difference is the content, right? So this one, there's more emphasis on the language. It could be everyday language, or it could be academic English, or it could be business English. B is more, we're moving over to lecture style, so there's not so much language support, and the mm -hmm. students will need to have a good, good level to understand this one. And with this one, there's, no, there's almost zero language classes because the students are native speaker level. So the reason that these are more expensive is because um, we have to find the lecturers and it's more difficult and the lecturers want more money than mm. <laughs> language tutors, so that's the difference. And as I said, the, uh, all the Japanese universities at the moment, they take the course A programme mm. because they want their students to get a better language mm. score. Whereas um, this year actually we didn't have, this year we didn't have um, business lectures because China was closed for a long time mm. and they didn't open. So this year we have Japanese groups, mm. and uh, also for Band A, we have a group from Taiwan, from NTU University, um, NTUE University, mm. Suchou University, also they want the topics and language program, and we had lecture-based programs too. Mm. Lecture-based programs, we also had one university from the United States, oh. and they, they, wanted the, uh, they wanted a mixed humanities program mm. too. Okay. Mm. So study tour, um, we, we take the students, um, Friday, so usually we can take the students to London or where is Frankfurt, Shakespeare, or for example, Stonehenge or whatever. So the university can choose where would you like us to take your students. And we, you know, we can, we've got many possibilities. And all the programs, if it's A or B or C, we also have the RA student helpers. So we have our own students, Hartford College students, and they look after your students when your students are outside the class. So they organise evening activity, they, they show the students around Oxford, they practice uh, breakfast, lunch and dinner, they speak with the students. So it's kind of like all the time when your students are not in the classroom, the RAs, and the RAs are all Hartford students. So this RA system is, for, is included in A, B and C. Um, also included is um, meals, uh, tuition, of course, uh, single room accommodation, Um, airport transfers, so they can pick you up at the airport and take you back. So really the only extra cash is if your students want to go shopping. You know, mm -hmm. if you want to go to London and uh, yeah, they, 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 of course they have to bring extra money, but everything else is included. Um, we can send you the prices next week for the different, the different programs, but again I think in your case I think this would be the best one because mm. this is the most suitable for Japanese mm. students because they, 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 they spend more time speaking. Okay, this one is more listening, all right? but you can do that here, so mm. <laughs> students can do that in Japan. Mm. But this one, if you want the students' language, confidence, also in, in all the three courses, A, B and C, we also teach presentation skills. Um, so at the end of all the programs, the students have to give a presentation in English and we give the students a grade. Also, all the programs include welcome tea. So the first day we have a, a nice tea, cakes and so on in our dining hall. Uh, and then a garden on the last day. And so 
certificates, sort of your ceremony. Also, if you would like to send um, one or two um, of your professors, that's for them it's free. They don't pay. They have a free room, free food, really? and you can relax. <laughs> yes, 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 and you, you can relax. So. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. so you can relax, you know, you don't have to do anything, you don't have to attend the classes. Maybe um, we ask you, please come to the first day, yes. please come to the last day, the rest of the time mm. is free to be doing it. Do you stay in Oxford, go to London, you, you can visit your friends, you can do your own research, it's up to you. So that's kind of uh, an overview, um, that's how the system works. Um, let's see if there's anything I've forgotten. Um, yeah, I mean, um, if, if you haven't been to Oxford before, Oxford's quite a small city. Um, it's kind of this shape. Uh, we've got the, the, down here, we've got the Thames River. Uh, this is probably the very centre. This is the historic part of Oxford. So most of the colleges are in this small central area. So you don't need to get taxis or buses. The students can walk everywhere. And our college is kind of here, right, very close to the centre. Um, we also... So some of the accommodation is in actually in, in the college in the old college. We also have three accommodation blocks. Uh, one, two, and three down in South Oxford, which is about ten minutes walk. Um, these ones are slightly more modern, and this one's sort of full of weight. <laughs> it's a little bit old. So sometimes the floors are a little bit like that. But the students can walk everywhere. Um, every day the lectures finish at four, so from four till six. Uh, the students have free time. Uh, six o'clock is dinner time, and after dinner, then we have social activities with our students, the, the student helpers. So one night they say, "Okay, today we're going to go on the river. We're going to go on a boat, or we're going to have a karaoke party, or we're going to play sports, and so on." So every evening there is something organised until about nine pm, and then mm -hmm. after that, there's, there's free time. Mm -hmm. um, so we started these programmes. I think it's about. Let's see. About 2000, and, about 2002, I think. I mean, I, wasn't, mm. I didn't start working for Hartford College. I started in 2008. But I think the first program started in 2002. We started with um, the oldest university, the Ariyamagaku in Waseda, Otsuma Women's University, and Kansagaku were the first four. And then we moved, uh, we started welcoming universities from China, and then China, Taiwan, Hong Kong, America, and other countries too. But um, so the, our busiest year was just before COVID. So in 2019, we had, I think, 46 groups. Um, but recently, we changed a little bit. We cut down on the groups because we, we felt it was too busy. And also, our team is a little bit smaller. So, th so this year, next year, we want about 23 groups. So, the, oh yes, there's one more thing. In general, if you want to send a group um, then we ask that it has to be minimum 12 students. Okay, so minimum number for a group is 12. If you want an a, a, B or C program, is, it has to be at least 12 students. But if you have not so many students, if you have two students or five students, we have two special programs, and even if you only have one student, they can join. It's called the open program. As we know, for some universities it's difficult. You know, for example, Otsumi University, sometimes they have 12, sometimes they have 15. This year they only had six. So we can't have one group because it was too small. But um, um, the open program, any number is okay. So really, this is very suitable for if you have one student to, say, 11 students, um, then they can join the open program. And the open program is the same exactly as this group A. So it's the same as the Wasserter program. The only difference is that um, we don't include the airport transfer. Mm. Because the students all come on their own, so they won't be arriving at the same time at Heathrow. So for open program, the students arrive at Heathrow on their own and then they take the coach, which is very easy, it's not, mm. not so difficult. They take the coach to Oxford and then we meet them in Oxford. Apart from that, everything is the same. So, what many students do, sorry, what many universities do, say for example, next year you have 
three students who are interested, then we recommend they join the open program. And then when they, if they enjoy it themselves, they come back, they tell their uh, core, I, I guess I went to Oxford last year, and then Bath, Stonehenge, London, and so on. And England is quite small. Maybe we can't go to Scotland, but uh, it, for England it's a good, good central place. This is the skyline of Oxford. Um, this photo just shows that we're very close to the countryside. Um, these spires here are part of the original design for many colleges. They have a chapel. Uh, so it's very nice. Usually, most of the buildings in Oxford are very low, but these spires make an interesting skyline. It's Oxford in the winter. Um, it doesn't snow every year, but when it does snow, it looks very beautiful. And again, you can see all these lovely little towers. Um, and in, in the UK, in winter, it gets dark very early, maybe 3.30, it starts getting dark. So winter's not such a good time to visit. Mm. I recommend spring, summer, autumn is good. Mm. This is the world's oldest university library. Um, and again, some of the Harry Potter movies was filmed inside this library. Oh. It's called the Bodleian Library. And our college is about... Um, uh, our college is about five minutes away from here. It's very, very close. This is the centre of Oxford, so there's no campus at Oxford University because all the buildings are mixed with hotels, shops, mm. restaurants, pubs, churches. Oh. So when you go out of the classroom, you're in the city. Mm. So it's very different from the campus style yeah. where you have to take a bus and, you know, it takes a long time to get, mm. you know, for example, when I visit at Kwanza Gakuin, their, their campus is <laughs> a long way from the Shinomiya station. So, um, but, uh, but there's no campus here, everything's mixed, everything's in the oh, same interesting. City. Yeah, no limitation. Over the campus. Well, there's there's no campus. It's, it's um, the campus style. I think it was 19th century in America. They said, okay, let's build one area just for the university outside the city. Mm. But in the old European universities, Oxford, Cambridge, Paris, Bologna, they, they the buildings were inside, just inside the the, the city. Mm. See here. So this is the university. We've got shopping streets. We've got a market and so on. It's very different style. Ben's good. Yes, Ben's cookies, well, we're Absolutely. Yeah, so this is actually outside our principal's office, so we're right next to the body of the library. Mm. And there's some modern, modern parts to Oxford, too. We've got a big new shopping centre, which, which maybe wasn't open when you came, but no. Was this big shopping centre open? Yes. Oh, but I, I went in 2018. Oh, really? So yeah. you, oh, okay, so you already yes, saw it. Westgate. Westgate. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Oh, I see you've seen that. Okay. And then this is just some information about the collegiate system. Um, what else have we got? Yeah, this is an aerial map of Oxford. So you can see that most of the colleges have got these little green areas, mm -hmm. and um, that's where the students can relax in the summer. They can read or take exercise. This one's the biggest college at Christchurch, so maybe you visited. Yeah. That's the one with the Harry Potter dining room. There's also lots of parks as well. This is our college. Um, we, we, this famous bridge um, links the old part with the new part of the college. And actually my office is just there, so I get a very yeah. nice view every day. And I should be working on my book out the window. There's our little quad. And there's our bridge. So this is, I think, the number one place in Oxford where people come for a photograph. Mm. That's a dining hall. There we are, this is what it looks like in the summer. That's just some general info. This tells us, it shows you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, mm. study Friday, it's a study visit. Well, this is the first, <laughs> first day, yeah, so we've got some very happy students. Mm. I don't know where these girls are from. Maybe They're from China. Maybe from Taiwan, oh, I think, yeah. Taiwan. Taiwan. So for every group, we have sandwiches, scones, cakes, tea. Mm. Uh, we have welcome speech. Mm. Uh, maybe McCready Sensei. Yes. Ah, yeah. <laughs> They're from Aoyama. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, this is Aoyama. Yeah. Teaching, we have a small class, mm. maybe 10 students maximum. Shakespeare here. Mm -hmm. There's another classroom. Some of the classes are very old oh. style. And uh, as I mentioned before, the students have to do a presentation. This is a Hong Kong group, and these are the students who studying education, so they, mm -hmm. they made an academic poster for their presentation. Mm -hmm. 
end of the program, we have a dinner. So as we give him a speech. And this is in our dining hall. These are pictures of uh, alumni and uh, principals of They're from AGU. Are they? Uh, yeah, I saw them, yeah. So the certificate has got the name, mm. and if you want, we can send a score on a uh, document to your university. Mm. So it's a big group. <laughs> so study visits, we're eating up at London. Mm. If you choose London, we take them to the Dry Hacker Books account and National Gallery. Mm. Uh, this, this is... Um, you ask about the centre of London, is this place here? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's right here. That, that's the place. Uh. So yeah, that, that's the National Gallery, it's a big um, art gallery. Um, all the museums in London are free, so the students can, if they want, they can go many times. You don't have to pay. Free? So, yeah, it's free. So you see some flowers, Monet, um, Rubens, Turner, etc. Other place close to Oxford, we've got the mm. Cotswolds, very beautiful countryside. Mm. Little villages. Blenheim Palace, very close to Oxford. This is a Winston Churchill's mm. family's house. Roman baths, we have a hot spring mm. water. And the, the, these baths are 2,000 years old. Made by the mm. And Stratford, we've got the, the houses associated with Shakespeare. Shakespeare's family mm. is very beautiful. Um, yeah, the Beatles. Right. Yeah, the students, yeah, the students can visit them. So many people, people. <laughs> yeah, mock that. Yeah. Um, so Harry Potter filming locations in Oxford. We've got these ones. That's maybe that you visited this one. Ah, uh, so it done. Ah, anyway. Ah, this one. Yeah. 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 And this one. Yeah, these two same. The yeah. body and library. So, yeah, when you arrive as a group, we send a coach to pick you up. Um, accommodation, some rooms we have in the old college. And some, some rooms is um, down in South Oxford near the Thames. For example, Wasada, they always want to stay in this one because it's close to the river and the park. Mm -hmm. Single. Mm. Yeah, the washing machines, Wi-Fi. <coughs> Every day the room's cleaned. Mm. Uh, food, we always have a choice. If your <laughs> students have an allergy or something, that's no problem. We can. We can. Um, These are the residential advisors, so these are the student helpers. They, they wear a uniform, so mm. the students you know, can find it very easy. And yeah, these are some of the activities they do walking, going in a boat, um, museums, inside the bridge, party nights. And also these are professors, so um, maybe it's not very sensitive in the back. Oh! And I think... Um, uh, Professor Yoshiba and yeah, his wife. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Yoshiba from Ariama yeah. Gakuin, this lady is Meiji Gakuin. Uh, uh. Um, Dab Sensei from uh, Ariama Gakuin. Uh, and this is from Professor Otsuma University in mm -hmm. St. Ireland. So, Every week we go drinking with the professor, so please come. Mmm. Mild cigar is done. So everything's in three days. And welcome to Watson, so please come. Ah, yeah. Honestly, it's very 